the superior mediastinum, much the most important structure is the aortic arch. The entire aortic arch is in the superior mediastinum from start to finish. And the aortic arch gives rise to three important branches. So the origins of these branches are clearly in the superior mediastinum. In addition to the aortic arch, you have the trachea and the esophagus. Both of these structures start their journey in the neck at the same horizontal level, and then both of them enter the superior mediastinum from above, and then cross the superior mediastinum to enter the inferior mediastinum. So in addition to the aortic arch, the trachea and the esophagus, on either side are important nerves that have run down the neck that are now going to cross the superior mediastinum and enter the inferior mediastinum. These are the vagus and phrenic nerves of the two sides. An important and large vein crosses the superior mediastinum obliquely in front of the uh, aortic arch. And this is the left brachiocephalic vein. Once the left brachiocephalic vein crosses the midline to reach the right side, it meets the much shorter right brachiocephalic vein to form the superior vena cava. So the commencement of the superior vena cava is in the superior mediastinum. There are lymph nodes in the superior mediastinum of great importance to the oncologist and the thoracic surgeon. And in the left half of the superior mediastinum are two structures, quite important, for which there are no counterparts on the right side. These are the left recurrent laryngeal nerve and the thoracic nerve. Yeah. Huh.